Hey guys, Doug B here. Recently, I had a request to do a video on the RTA block. Now, you know, that's one of them that I have never ever once looked at. So I thought, perfect, exactly what I need to do. So, real-time analyzer, let's take a look at it. So according to the Fractal Audio Blocks Guide, the real-time analyzer block is an animated high-resolution multiband spectrum analyzer with parametric control. You can set it and forget it, or you can adjust parameters to match your specific needs. You can tap the grid signal anywhere to feed the real-time analyzer, allowing you to observe the frequency content. Now on the config page, there are four different parameters you can set. Decay time sets the decay or release time. The higher this value, the slower each measurement will fall off in the display. Input select selects how the RTA handles incoming stereo signals. Monitor left or right channels individually or sum them together. Bands sets the resolution of the display to 32, 64, or 128 bands. And then the window type selects between different window functions to determine how data is displayed. If you are not familiar with analyzer windowing, you easily can find more information online. The RTA block has no channels and cannot be bypassed. Any signal at the block input is passed unmodified to the block output. It has zero effect on sound. So I made a real simple preset so we can try the RTA block in multiple locations. I added a comp block, drive block, amp block, cab block, delay block, reverb block, and then finally the RTA block. Now for the comp block, I'm using the pedal compressor one. For the drive, I'm using the Maxoff 808. For the amp, I'm using the 65 bass guy normal with the drive turned down to two. Cabs, I'm using a 2x12 Blackface Baseman 67 cabinet. The delay is the good old Zephyr. Reaver block is the studio. And then here's the RTA block. Now if we go to scene one, that's direct signal only. Here's the neck pickup. Here's both pickups. And then here's the bridge pickup. Now if we go to the second scene, that activates the compressor block. And you can see how long it holds onto that signal. Scene 3 adds the drive block. And you can see how much more harmonic content that that adds. Scene four adds the amp. Now you can see that by adding the amp, it already attenuated some of the bands. Let's go to scene five, which adds the cab. There's even more attenuation going on there. Scene six adds the delay. And then finally scene seven adds the reverb. Now again, let's go back to scene one, which is direct inject. Then we go to scene seven with everything. So that's just one example of how you can use the RTA block while working with Axe Edit. Now let's say you're on stage and you'd like to have a little bling on your rig. Turn on that RTA block. Here's how you do it. You put the RTA block in whatever preset you use, select it in the layout view, and hit the edit button. It'll give you that way groovy light show as long as you stay on that scene. Let's try it. We hit the layout button. Let's nav to the RTA block. Hit edit.
You can also use the RTA block to test to see how long your guitar will sustain. Do you got dead wood or do you got live wood? Give it a try with the RTA block. So there you have it guys. The real time analyzer, the RTA block, it does not have any sound of its own. It does not process any sound. It doesn't do anything to the sound, but it will help you fine tune your sound. And it'll also give you a little cool little light show for on stage. All right, next week we are going to do a Fractal Audio year-end wrap-up. Now you don't want to miss that, so hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, for those of you that uh, celebrate, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Feliz Navidad. I hope everyone has a wonderful end of year, and I will see you next week. All right, bye now.